I was once a camper myself. But it wasn't anything like this. Cheap creep. Alright, good morning, Jeep Creepers. What are we doing today? Well, last episode, we gutted it. Boop. There we go. Garbage. From the inside. I got it all bagged up, cleaned up. Nothing, no more junk in the yard. I uh, took and I whoop, 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 gorilla taped that hole there. So uh, today, what I want to do is um, work on the top. So I'm going to patch this hole and then um, start to um, re-insulate and waterproof and make it pretty. I'm going to be using four by eight veneer plywood. Um, and then later on, I'll stain it depending on what kind of color scheme we go with. I don't know, but let's get the sucker popped. That's it. I call them pop ups because it popped at the end. Does yours do that? I don't know. It's weird. But let's take a look at the inside. All right. So uh, I need to take this top off. So here's one of the corners where the pops are, or the pop up thing jiggers. And uh, I'm just peeling this back taking out these two screws right here to get this panel out of the way. And then these two uh, bolts right here are mounted to this plate in here. And uh, I'm not gonna use the steel um, uh, actuators. Uh, I'm gonna redo it with uh, two by fours so I can get the exact height. It's easier to build on instead of building on steel. It's rickety anyway, so uh, I'm not gonna use those. Um, and the hole that we're gonna patch it's right here. You can see the duct tape that I pushed through the inside. I need to pull the tape off, smooth this out, uh, take and uh, flatten it, and re-insulate. It is really windy today. I don't know if you can hear that, but here we go. covers off. Now I need to find the right size wrench and take off those uh, nuts. I think I might just cut them off. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut them off. They're rusty. Pretty small area. I need to clean in some music. I wound up cutting it on the top using my big angle grinder. Um, my battery died, so I didn't get that on film, but we got the gist of that, right? So now I need to get this uh, top over to my uh, work table so I can start working the top. Let's see if I can lift this thing without killing myself. walk around all over the yard we're gonna just put it over here in the driveway where I got it off oh, I love it 
love Michigan wind. It's great. Oh, so you blows the camera over. Cold and wind. All right, let's see if my camera will stand up on its own. to see what's going on now, huh? Get the camera up. There we go. All right. Nice clean playing area. I'll fix that hole. I need a piece of wood under this to brace this more evenly. This looks so weak. You know what I should do? Put it on the ground. What the heck am I thinking? Ground's flat. I got you on the mini tripod here so we can see the hole. All right, let's get my tape pulled off. sucks because that's a fold. Let's see if we can pull that out with some pliers. Okay, so here's the inside. I need to clean out the inside a little bit. Get some of the styrofoam out of the way, then pound it out. Styrofoam, as you can see, this is this is wood. You laminated on here. That's not wood. That's kind of convenient. It looks like it broke on a seam, so I'll just tear it off the seam. <laughs> Cut it out square. I'll replace it with uh, XPS styrofoam. Not this old school stuff. Okay. Hey, that's a pleasure, isn't it? All right, so at least we can see our, our gash here. Try to show you here. You can see this is folded a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can fix that. Pulling it out without tearing it. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that was pretty flat, that's good. This is just curled a little bit, not too bad. So let's get uh, a plate here, a nice chunk of iron, and uh, flatten it. You see that? Just a couple pounds and that's already flat. So we close this big old rash to a smaller rash. This stuff is so thin, I'm going to need to reinforce it. All right, hunting around the garage, I found a piece of old galvanized steel. A lot heavier gauge than that uh, aluminum uh, camper top is. So. Um, It'll definitely work. I just need to uh, cut it to dimensions and uh, pop it in. Yeah, there we go. Sand off on the edges. about this being good and strong and you wonder where I got this metal from it's an old computer case like an old computer tower so it's galvanized so you can't weld it but you can sure as hell use it for stuff like this okay so that fits that dimension I need to cut this out a little longer get the full length of the uh, damage thinking about the uh, the rivets but this stuff is so thin that a rivet ain't gonna really do much unless you put a plate on both sides and I'm, I'm not gonna do that um, so what I'm gonna do is just use some good old liquid nails and uh, this plate should hold pretty good I'll make sure that I get this seam covered really well if it shoots out a little bit because uh, I'm going to uh, um, work on the outside when it warms up and then uh, apply a nice amount to this I got a nice amount applied to that I'll just jam it in here squish it down real good really what I'm trying to do is waterproof this thing. Good. All right. And then I got a, it's only red because I used this for another project and I painted it. Um, piece of foam that I'm going to insert right here. Fill the, the insulation part. So again, got a nice mount on here. And I'm going to jam it in. Place. All right. Yeah, that looks perfect. All right, just so you can see the hole on the other side. All right, so uh, you can see it bleeding through there, which is good. This still needs work on the outside. This is wrinkle a little bit but I'm gonna wait for this to dry I think I might 
I've seen people fiberglass these, so I might fiberglass it to fix it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so next step. Okay, just to get orientated here, um, this is the inside of the camper. And uh, so it's got these uh, angle iron pieces here and here. It goes out into a wood frame. I'm going to go ahead and make a piece of veneer that'll fit that. And then um, I'm going to use a, uh, I need to plug that hole. Um, I'm going to use tar as a filler, like patch tar, and uh, see how that works. All right, so in the corners we have these uh, plates right here that hold the uh, thing that pops it up, and then uh, there's a corner piece. I cleaned all that out on this side. I'm going to need to cut out a piece of foam to fill that and uh, reinforce it a little bit. All right, reinforced, cut out some insulation, got it to fit in there. Now we need to uh, put the, uh, the wood over top. Looking good. I got that little hole patched and I got the corner piece in and it fits pretty good. It fits better than the last one, which is over there. Okay, so this is the veneer I'm gonna use. Uh, veneer is just a real thin piece of wood. <laughs> It's like, uh, I don't know, five mil thick, I believe is what it is, uh, which is like a quarter, I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's gonna stick right on here. I trimmed that back a little bit too, but first I need to, uh, I'm gonna tar it in. This is my idea. Um, something new that I haven't seen anybody else do, but uh, I figure if the roof ever leaks, uh, it, this is all insulation, even though this is thin wood on top of it. So it'll never, rot my new wood, you know what I mean? I'm gonna waterproof it from both sides, the inside and outside. Easy with insulation, tar. I don't know. You can get any more insulated than that. It's flexible, heat resistant. It's stronger than glue. On. Let's find the best side of this board to use. Got a hole in it. Ooh, it's Let's use this side. Very gently. Carefully, not to make a mess. Use our clamp a doos. Bullshit. There. 
Got our weights holding the bottom and the clamps holding the top. Looking good. Now we just wait for it to dry a little bit. 